Welcome back to the Gentleman's Gazette. In today's video, we discuss the dress codes resort attire, resort casual, and resort evening, so you look your best if you're lounging in a tropical resort. Resort attire, or resort wear, is a dress code that is established around the globe. It's even the basis for an annual collection of couture fashion designers who focus just on this segment because a lot of people want to look stylish even when they relax. You'll most likely find it in country clubs or nice resorts or hotels that want to make sure that guests don't show up in board shorts for dinner. Sometimes a dress code resort wear can be ambiguous because different hotels and resorts define it differently. As a rule of thumb, keep in mind, the more posh or upscale an establishment is, the more formal the dress code is likely going to be. So what exactly is resort wear or resort attire? It indicates that a certain degree of formality is required, even though you're in a warmer climate. At the same time, it means that a dark suit or tuxedo would be inappropriate because it would be over the top. So before I provide with some ideas of what to wear when a dress code is resort casual, first let's discuss what not to wear. Athletic attire of any kind is always inappropriate. Your gym shorts, your t-shirts are not appropriate. That also means no track pants, no sweatpants, no joggers, and no workout shorts. Avoid wearing t-shirts or tank tops and always make sure your shirts have some kind of a collar, such as a polo shirt would be fine with short sleeves or long sleeves or a dress shirt. It also means don't wear shower slides, flip-flops or sandals unless you're specifically at the beach or by the pool area. In other areas, especially in the evening, those would be considered inappropriate. You definitely want to avoid any type of tennis shoes or trainers. When it comes to sneakers, and they're nice leather sneakers in brown, for example, but always be cautious and rather err on the side of formality, meaning a nice leather dress shoe in tan, maybe some suede in colors such as green, even dark brown. Definitely stay clear of black because that would be too formal. In some establishment, golf khakis or slacks with a polo shirt are acceptable in a clubhouse, in others they aren't, so it pays to specifically ask or figure out what the proper dress code at your venue is. It goes without saying that your clothing shouldn't have any holes or tears, and that also stay clear of any type of shorts for evening activities. I would skip vests or any other heavy layers, cufflinks are maybe a little over the top, a simple barrel cuff will do just fine. So what should you wear when it comes to resort casual during the day? The first thing that probably comes to mind is the Hawaiian shirt. I've been to Hawaii recently and I hardly saw anybody wearing Hawaiian shirts. So they're out there, they exist, they can be appropriate. If you're in the mood for it, go for it. But it's definitely not something you have to have and sometimes it could also look a bit cheesy. So in terms of slacks, you can go with linen pants or cotton pants, things like seersucker is totally fine. And you can also go with shorts, as long as they are longer and made of cotton or linen or other interesting materials. At the same time, skip any kind of swim trunks or board shorts because that would be too informal. Try to keep on a shirt unless you're at the pool or at the beach. A polo shirt is just fine. During the day, a t-shirt may be a little too informal, but uh, if you're at the beach or in the vicinity, that's okay too. I'd say jackets are over the top, and if you're at a resort during off-season, you may want to have a thin sweater or something that keeps you at the ideal temperature. If you wear a lot of solid polo shirts, it can be interesting to mix it up a bit with patterned shorts. You could go with stripes, maybe dots, or classic patterns such as seersucker, checks, or madras, sometimes also known as madras. It's a checked fabric with rich colors that originates in India, and you can check out all details about this wonderful fabric in our guide here. During the day, definitely stay clear of any form of jacket that would be over the top. In terms of shoes, you can wear driving mocks, maybe boat shoes. If you're at the beach, if you go from your room to the pool, flip-flops are just fine. Otherwise, if you're at the lobby or at the restaurant, flip-flops would not quite be appropriate. 
Also, wearing ties or bow ties is over the top, so leave them in your room and save them for the evening. So what does resort evening wear mean? It means typically long sleeves, long pants, no more tailored shorts. It also requires closed-toed shoes, which can be your general Darbys or Oxfords in brown tones or tans. You can also be a little more playful, maybe if you wanna go with a pair of spectators, or maybe some white shoes, something that is more summery and more associated with tropics. Stay clear of black shoes, even in the evening, because it's not quite suited to the tropics. A jacket is not mandatory, but definitely a good idea. Personally, I always like it because in the evening it can get a little cooler and it's also much more elegant and stylish. A navy blazer is very versatile and you can wear it, even though I think a cotton jacket, such as the one I'm wearing here right now with a slight check, maybe a fresco jacket in a lighter color is preferable. If you want to, you can wear a seersucker suit, but in general, I'd stay clear of suits and rather go with combinations. I suggest you match your belt with your shoes, and if you want to, you can go with bolder colors in certain elements of your outfit, because a resort is fun, it's casual, and it's not business. When it comes to accessories, you can be a little more playful as well. You can have madras patterns, maybe grenadine, maybe knit, something with a little more texture, maybe you go with a bow tie, just something that is unusual and not necessarily something you would wear with a three-piece business suit. Of course, if you prefer, you don't have to wear neckwear at all, but if you wear a jacket, I suggest you go at least with a pocket square because it just elevates the look and makes you more stylish. If you don't want to wear over-the-calf socks, consider no-show socks. They prevent your feet from sweating in your shoes and it'll also help to prevent any kind of blisters. For shirts, you can opt for dress shirts with an open weave or alternatively, if you like it more casual, you can go with long sleeve polo shirts. Just make sure they have a nice collar and not those typical flimsy ones. In today's video, I'm wearing such a long sleeve polo shirt with a collar and I decided to mix it with a tie just to show you the full range. I could have just gone without a tie and it would have been just fine. My jacket is similar to a seersucker, but it has checks which is quite nice. It's a small pattern, but it's very different from a classic business suit. What I'm wearing is red and blue shantung that picks up the blue tones of my jacket and my pocket square, which has hand-rolled edges and X stitches. If you're interested in these accessories, please check out our shop here. I went with bold red pants, which are similar to that tucket red, just a shade darker. They're made of 100% cotton, they're lightweight and good for warmer climates. In line with my white shirt and the white elements in my jacket, I went with white buckskin shoes that have red shoelaces, so it ties the outfit together with the pants. That being said, it's obviously a very loud combination, and if you're not comfortable with that, I could have just worn this outfit without a tie and maybe medium brown Oxfords, and the whole look feels entirely different and less dramatic, even though I wear red pants. For the socks, I'm wearing red and blue shadow stripe socks from Fort Belvedere, which tie together the red and blue tones of the outfit. Of course, during the day, sunglasses are always a good idea, so definitely don't forget them. And if the sun gets too hot, you can also bring a Panama hat, which is very stylish and keeps the sun out of your face. <laughs> Thank you.